Hello and welcome back to another video with me, Louise Egan from winitwordpress.com. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a common problem that loads of people have uh, when they're starting out with their WordPress websites and that I really had a problem with myself and that is how to put text over an image. Um, uh, today I'll be using Visual Composer. If you haven't got it, I highly, highly recommend that you get it because it'll just make your life an awful lot easier. Uh, so the link for that is in the description and uh, let's get started. Okay, so the method I'm going to use to put text over images is to use backgrounds. Um, you could put an image here like I have here. This is just an image in the column. If you, I click onto it and you can see um, I have options to edit this image, but there's no option to put text over it. Um, what I have done before is I put text underneath it and I used code and margins and placing uh, to place it over it. But then the problem is when you are having it responsive for um, for a smaller device, so for mobile or tablet, it goes completely out of the way and it doesn't really work very well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is instead of using single images like this, so if that's my single image right there, I at the moment, I'll show you if I try and put text into this column, text block, and we'll just leave it with that. If I try and put text into this column, um, when I update it, so it's actually, you can see this text is underneath this picture. It's not over it. As I said, I could use a uh, code to put it over it, but then when I go smaller, um, screen, it's not going to work very well. So instead of that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this. Actually, I'll leave it. Um, instead of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set pictures as a background. So if you see this one, here we have just lower down this picture. You, it's the same position as this one here, and you would think that it's the same thing, but it's actually a background. So if I put this text. I bring this text, my, my original text block down and I put it into this column here rather than being below it like it was in the other one I'll show you rather than it being below it like it was in the other one it was down here as you can see it's actually I know it's, it's above it right now but um, if we change the margin settings so if I set that to, let's say 200, um, just so I can show you, this is just for um, demonstration purposes. So rather than it being below it, as you can see, it's right over this image. Um, and the great thing about this, you could, you probably are asking yourself, well, could I not just edit the text over my image in Photoshop or in some other where our picture processing program? Um, you could definitely it's an option so the problem with that is that Google won't be able to read your text as actual text it'll just see the whole thing as a picture so isn't it's really not going to help your SEO at all so you could have a big load of text talking about your niche and using all your keywords and everything but it's not going to help your SEO at all so that's why I recommend doing it this way so there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can do it by setting the background for the row, the individual column, or the actual piece of content itself. Generally, I do it for the row. So I'll show you how to do that. You go into your edit this row part, and then you go right on over to design options. And as you go down, you'll see background, and it has a box here. This has an X because um, there's already something there, but you will just see this one with the plus. So let me just show you an example. So you see the plus, you go in, and then it'll give you the option to choose your photo. So if you haven't uploaded your photo, you can upload it here and just select it from your computer. But if I've already uploaded, so this is the one I'm going to use. So as you can see, this is my complete background for this whole part, okay? So I haven't just taken this picture of, my, of the hands um, on its own. I've actually made it into the whole but white background and the hands are where I want them to be on the screen. So I'll set this image, save changes, and that is what you see here. So this white space that was in the photo is over here. So this is the background for the entire row. Um, it's the same if you look, I have the background for the row set above this, and that is this picture here. Um, it's the background for the entire row. So if you wanted to set a background for just one column, so you can see here, I have two columns in here. 
So that is one column, two columns. Um, if you wanted to set a, a background for just the one column, uh, it's it's the same process. You go into this edit, edit this column, same thing into design settings and select your background. Now the problem with this is, um, I find it sometimes it's not as responsive, and generally it's kind of just harder to put them in the place that you want them. Um, it's definitely worth checking out though. The one that I wouldn't really use a lot is having the uh, background of the text block itself. Um, it's I suppose it's worth checking out, but that's generally how I do it. You can play around with it and see what's going to work for your individual row and your individual website. Um, but that's how I put text over an image as I use the background images uh, of either the row or the column or the text block or the uh, content itself. So there you have it. Um, I hope this helped guys. So there you go. Um, that's what I always use. I'm sure there probably is another way of doing it, but that's the easiest thing that I find. As long as you have your pictures um, cropped, I suppose, to the right size of your background. Um, but apart from that, I hope this works for you guys. As I say, if you haven't got uh, Visual Composer or WP Bakery, as it's now called, um, the link is in the description. And if you'd like help with your WordPress course, uh, my complete course is right here if you click this button. And it's a uh, complete WordPress course. It's going to take you through step by step how to um, how to make your whole website and you have your whole website complete and it's well written money rather than trying to um, find your way how to do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you think any of your friends might benefit from this. Make sure you um, tag them and if you leave a comment below, tell me what you think, tell me what I can improve on and if there's any videos you'd like to see me do in the future, let me know. So thanks very much guys. See you next time.